Welcome back to All That Glitters is Gold with Baroque Nails. I'm using a number four oval by Light Elegance and I will be using the Buttercream and Metallic Gold. I love their buttercreams. If they could do all buttercreams I'd be in on it. So I'm going to use on one side a very small amount. Buttercreams don't require a lot and you also have to make sure that you get up to those cuticles. I like to do the cuticle area first. Some people will do the ends first. Now this is my sister's nails, so her nails aren't long, so doing the ends of the tips are really not necessary. But I'm big on making sure that my cuticle is nice and clean, and then just gently floating it down the nail. Here you see here, it's covering the whole nail. I'm going to speed up the video so that you don't have to spend hours here just watching me apply the buttercream. And I edited this a little bit ago, so I'm not sure if I'm going to show both hands or just the one. Oh, I am going to show both. Okay. Now, while her uh, hand is in the light, I work on the other and my sister likes to leave her thumbnail and her ring finger out for a little bit heavier of a design. So today we're actually going to be using those along with Dreaming of Dubai and Cheers from Down Under. My sister was asking me if I would do some sort of glitter ombre. Now these are all her choices. Um, I've already done the scrub coat. I have and a little bit of a thinner layer over top just for a smooth surface. I did file and buff that surface so that the buttercreams will attach. They do better on a buff surface. Now you can see I'm using, I believe it was Cheers from Down Under is one that I grabbed um, to do the cuticle area and then I'm going to come in with Dubai which is more of a gold color which is gorgeous and do the tip. Sorry, I don't feel I have to talk through the whole thing. You can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to use the Light Elegant Strippy that comes in the Celino Riden's Signature Set. I love these brushes. I actually have two sets. Um, right here, before I go into why I have two sets, I am pulling them through. The gold through to the rose gold and then the rose gold through to the gold. Now I'm going to add a little bit here and there where I see I've got too much yellow gold compared to too much rose gold. Now I apologize I didn't do a close-up on this but I can you can see what I'm doing. Now as I was saying a moment ago I've got two sets. Selena Reathen actually recommends that you do have one full set and then your next set to customize it. The next time I go to Premiere, I'm probably going to pick up two more sets and those two will be customizable. Now on to the ring finger. Doing the same application. Sometimes, depending on my client, I may uh, change up the application placement or change up the design hand to hand. Now my sister is very detail minded like I am and uh, OCD in some things and for her that is with consistency on her nails. Now I'm going to do the opposite on the thumbs. So I'm going to do the Dreaming of Dubai on the cuticle area and then cheers from down under on the tip. Again, make sure you get nice and close to that cuticle but don't overlap the cuticle. Now 
Now I did bring it down a little bit on the sides. This one I'm not going to so much ombre like I did the ring fingers. This one I kind of, I want to kind of give a unique look to it and I'm doing kind of a half moon. Okay, I'm kind of in the, the heck out of you, sorry. I want to do a half moon type of a look. It's really beautiful these working with these two glitters. Now I did change my mind, but I'm not doing the blend off really heavy like I did on the ring fingers. We both really liked that half moon look. Don't forget to cap the ends clean up the sides and next I have some finished images I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video remember you have been nailed by Baroque Nails have a great day